Hello! In this video, I will show you how to use Add-in Express to create COM add-ins for Microsoft Excel. I'll cover the more common customizations like custom ribbons, custom command bars, task panes, and keyboard shortcuts. In addition, I'll show you how to trap Excel events. So let's go ahead and get started. To begin, we'll just create a new project inside of Visual Studio where in the new project dialog box what we want to do is go to the other project types node under the extensibility node and we'll select the ADX com add-in. I'll call this my Excel add-in and then we'll say OK. Doing so opens up the add-in express new project wizard where I can select a programming language in this case I'll choose Visual Basic and I can I can choose the minimum supported Office version. In this case, I want to select Microsoft Office 2000 and up. You can see real quickly that we support XP 2003, 2007, and 2010. And the last page here is to select my supported applications. I just want Microsoft Excel for this demo. We'll go ahead and click Finish, in which case Visual Studio to create our project for us. Now immediately what you'll notice is that we have the add-in module opens up for us in design view inside of Visual Studio. This is the one-stop shop or one-stop location for all our components in, inside of our add-in. And what we have, I'll right-click and I'll say show large icons and we can see all the different tools in the toolbar that are available to us. And let's go ahead and start out by building a ribbon or a custom ribbon. And I do so by clicking it on the toolbar and we notice that we now have the ADX ribbon tab 1 on the design surface and then also its designer down below. So why don't I go ahead and add, uh, first off we just have one control available to us or that's lit up and that's the ribbon group. Once I add a ribbon group and then select it inside of the designer we'll see that all the additional supported ribbon controls are now available for me to add to the designer surface. And we have everything that's supported by the ribbon, ribbon box, a ribbon button group to the ribbon button, label checkbox, the edit box, the various kinds of combo boxes and, and drop downs, you know, all the way down to even a dialog box launcher. And in this case, I'm going to just add a ribbon button and we'll go back and start editing our properties. First off, let's start off with the, the caption. We'll just call this my ribbon and for, in this case that's really the only thing I think I care about maybe right here I will insert in the insert after ID MSO will allow me to choose maybe where which tab I want to have it display after and I will make it in I'll make it display after the insert tab and I do so by using tab the value tab insert which uh, is just the control ID for the insert tab on the ribbon now I'll edit my group caption and then for my button I'll change it to my button and we'll move down to the size where I will say large and then next up we notice or I hope you notice that there's there's not an icon here and there's an easy way to do that within the ADX toolset all I have to do is go to my Windows Forms control and insert an image list onto the add-in module and change the image list image size to 32 by 32 and go to the collection and I can choose to add a new image to the images collection and I'll go down and choose I'm looking for a 32 by 32 icon and I'm going to choose this RSS default and say OK. Now I'll go back to the ribbon to the button and I can select that in one of two ways either here in the tree view or just directly in the designer and I will change the image list to my image list one and then select my image and now we see I have my image and a custom ribbon inside of just a couple of minutes now that we have this button why don't we go ahead and add some code to it and I'll just select it again and if we look in the properties I'll go to our events and I can double click right in here on the on click event and Visual Studio will go ahead and stub out a method for me and here I'll just do the traditional hello world
and there we have it. When I was creating this project, remember that I chose Office 2000 as my minimum supported version of Office. And that means I want to create this add-in to support multiple versions of Office. And a great way to do that, so let me, uh, instead of showing large icons, go back to smaller ones. Um, but what I can do is I can add an ADX command bar and begin to build out a traditional uh, command bar that's available from previous versions of Office, you know, Office 2000 to 2003 XP and even in some applications for Office 2007. Uh, but I, it works in the same way. I add the command bar to the added modules design designer and then when I have it selected I see the designer for the command bar and I can come in here and do the same thing just like with the ribbon and add a button and here I will change its name to my button and there we go and in the command bar here I can change its command bar to my command bar and there we have it. Um, I have more properties available to me where I can change its style. Uh, in this case where I just have a caption, I also have uh, choices like uh, just an icon or an icon with caption, etc. Everything that's supported by the command bar button. For here I'm just going to leave it as the caption and we'll move over to the events view in properties and I'm going to stub out an event just by double clicking here and uh, what I can do, uh, which is a great trick here, is because everything is right here in the add-in module class, I can say you know, private say hello, take my code here, copy and paste it right here, and then call it from each of these buttons. So I could say say hello, move down, and say hello here. So it's great from both of these buttons that support different versions of Office. They're using the same code and that way I don't have to duplicate the code elsewhere. Then the great thing too, which I haven't mentioned yet, is that Add-in Express automatically will handle, will, will recognize the correct version of Office. If it's 2003, it'll show the command bar. If it's Excel 2003, if it's Excel 2007 or 2010, it will show the ribbon automatically. I don't have to write any code. Now let's tackle the task of adding a task pane, which uh, traditional task panes inside of Excel are handled inside of the add-in module, looking here in properties, in the task panes collection. And the way to do that is to add a user control to our project. So I'll right click and I'll say add new item. And here I'll just say new uh, user control and I'll say my task pane. So here we have it. I want to change its color to, uh, oh, we'll do something like a nice shade of lime green. And move back to the add in module where I can go to my task panes collection. And all you have to do is add a new task pane and I'll expand the window just so it's easier to see and the most important thing is to set the control prog ID to our task pane or our user control that we created my task pane we'll see here that's my Excel add-in the project name and then my task pane which is the name of the user control so for the dock position I have my choice of left top right bottom or floating we'll just leave it at the right and it's worth noting here that we have Outlook properties but they don't matter and then also to supported apps uh, these won't really display unless the add-in is set to support the others but just uh, I like to clear them out anyways just in case and two we, we've set this to true so it will display and say close and we're good to go now task panes are one thing but advanced task panes are another which advanced task panes allow us to do a few more things like uh, collapse a task pane uh, show a preview, have a header, and more. Um, what we'll do to add a new task pane, we'll say add new item to our project. We'll go back to to the add in express items and choose Excel project types which filters for us and we'll see a lot of stuff here but what we're interested in is the ADX Excel task pane. We'll click on it and we see that it is an advanced Excel task pane. I'll 
call this my ADV for advanced task pane and click add and the first time you add a task pane you'll get the notice from Add in Express that says for the task pane to work you have to add the Excel task manager to the add-in module and set it up as described in the product documentation uh, which we'll handle here but first let's go ahead and just uh, set a design for it in the back color here we'll do a custom color um, maybe make it there we go let's say save and let's go over here to the add-in module design view where we will add the ADX Excel task panes manager to our add-in module and we see here that it does have a designer but it's really just a grid view and the way I typically like to handle it is to have it selected in the designer and then in my items collection I, I like to work with the collection editor items collection editor so I click add it works a lot like task panes but you'll see that we have many more options and here probably the most important is the task pane class name which we'll see here is uh, if I had more than one task pane advanced task pane available I could select it but I just have my one and again it follows the same naming convention of project name and then the, the task name and now we can go through some of the uh, properties so in here I'm gonna go ahead and say show header I wanna show the close button and the default region state is normal which means it'll it'll show it will have it enabled I'm not going to enable drag and drop uh, I'm going to choose the position to be on the left and here we have top bottom right or left as options and I'll say okay oh and one other thing before we do that is this this right here use office theme for background if I leave it as true my custom color won't display but if I disable it it will I'll say OK. I have two more things I want to show you and the first of these two is the ADX keyboard shortcut so I can click this and it becomes an item on my designer and there are just really two key properties we want to deal with one is to make sure that it's enabled and the other is to select our shortcut text and luckily we have a combo box filled with them I'm going to choose control plus D as mine and then inside of the events, I can double click inside of the action to stub out the event for action. And instead of saying, say hello, what I'll do is message box show and I'll display the keyboard shortcut one and I'll choose its shortcut text uh, to display. And lastly, before we build and compile and then also demo the add-in for you, I want to show you how to trap events in Excel. And Excel has tons of events. And what we can do is we can select right over here in the application level events. I'll choose Microsoft Excel events, which creates an object for us. And if we have it selected, then we can see all the events that we can take advantage of and write code against. So what I can do is we can pick a new workbook and once again we'll just take advantage of the say hello method and so anytime we create a new workbook we will receive a nice friendly greeting and when we're in the design view we can also take advantage here so you know the ADX Excel events we can also make use of all the events right here and create our methods this way so why don't we go ahead and build our solution and then also uh, since I want to run this on my development machine I can just choose to register my pro or register my ADX project which sets the registry and tells Excel that we'll have this add-in and let's go ahead and just run it inside of Excel 2010 first where we'll see hello world since we opened it and I have a new uh, workbook we see the standard task pane over here on the right in green and then we see the advanced task pane right over here on the left and we also see the the header and the advanced features that it provides with the collapsibility then also the ability to preview the task pane or have it pop out and let's look at my ribbon it's showing correctly after the insert tab and here's our button it correctly works with hello world and then if I do a control D we'll see control D 
uh, pop up as a message box inside the Excel window. Let's close this and also to show Excel 2003 where we see the same result of uh, application opens and a new work and a new workbook is created so we see hello world and we also let me close that task pane but we also see the advanced task pane where I can collapse it I can see it pop out um, we don't see the standard task pane because that is not supported at the application level inside of Excel 2003 but what we do see is we see our custom command bar uh, with my button and it works says hello world and inside of the worksheet if I do control plus D we'll see as well that that event is working just fine too so we'll close and go back to the add-in manager and what we've seen and what we have seen is a high-level overview of how to use add-in express to create com add-ins for Microsoft Excel I showed you how to create the add-in how to create a custom ribbon and add some code how to create a custom command bar and also uh, write some code for a, a button and then how to create a standard task pane for for Excel and then how to create advanced task panes which are unique to the ADX toolset or the add-in express toolset and then I showed you how to do a keyboard shortcut and also how to how to trap Excel events and write some code behind at least one of them I'm sure just from the short demo you can tell there's a lot more capabilities that are not covered I recommend that you I recommend reading the content and learning as much as you possibly can uh, from the content that's available on our site